business acumen. It cannot be denied. So the commander fan base should be happy that he is part of the ownership group. The fact that he's involved should definitely make the commander's fan base excited for what's to come. The fact that Michael Magic, Magic Johnson is purchasing the team is a good sign or should be a good sign for commanders for the commanders fan base because Magic Johnson first of all is a recognized businessman if you um, listen to his story and he has told this on many podcasts he learned a lot of his or he, he received a lot of his business knowledge and skills from the late Dr. Buss, owners of the Lakers, who was in itself also a recognized successful businessman. He talked about in the beginning how he went to the team and mm. he had and he, they started talking to each other and the teammates, his teammates, so the players didn't like the fact that he was connecting with uh, with Dr. Buss. And the other NBA owners weren't happy that Dr. Buss were, was connecting and talking so much to Magic Johnson. And But they had and they, their relationship lasted until the passing of Dr. Buss. But basically... He tells a story of how Dr. Buss gave him a lot of knowledge, dropped a lot of uh, knowledge. Gems. Gems that he is still using today. He also had a story, uh, but I don't recall that story. That's from a different person who also played a role, who invested, I believe, in apartment complexes. But if you listen to Magic Johnson's uh, interviews on various podcasts, where he discusses business, man, oh man, I'm telling you, you will, you, you learn a lot. And one of the things he says is that a lot of people approach him because um, with deals, right? Hey, ma Magic, what's up, man? What's up, brother? Let's do some deals. Let's make some deals. I have a good plan. And he's saying... If I'm here and you're here and you're here, then we cannot do business together. If I'm here, the business you're trying to offer, so the, the, the project or the, the, the proposal you're bringing me needs to be here because I'm trying to. For, for those listening, he, he's, up. for those listening, when, when RG is saying here, it's higher. lower and higher. Yeah. So he's saying, yeah. So he's saying, if I am, so I was just repeating more or less what he literally said. Yeah. But indeed, what he said was, okay, if I am at a particular level, your business proposal or potential business project or investment that you want me to take part of needs to be not equal to where I am, but needs to be higher because I'm trying to stretch. I'm trying to uh, grow. And for a business to think, for a NBA player, and this was an NBA player of the past, they weren't getting the the money they're getting today. For him to not go broke, because that's also the fate of a lot of players, right? They go broke after the NBA. For him to not only go broke, but to grow, grow as much to becoming a millionaire, and after that, even a billy, a, 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 a billionaire, and now to buy a, an, an NFL team and an NFL team is better investment-wise 
or a team seems to be better investment wise than the N an NBA team. We looked at the numbers in a past show. The NBA is growing way harder. That says a lot about his intelligence, dedication. NBA is growing? NFL, you mean? Oh. I said the NFL is growing faster than the oh, NBA. Oh, yeah. I missed that, yeah. So that, that, so that goes to show that he is, he, so he is destined for a whole lot of greatness, but it's also a show have of his passion, a show of his knowledge, a reflection of his intelligence, and his business acumen. It cannot be denied. So, commander, the commander fan base should be happy that he is part of the uh, ownership group, it's not the main ownership group from what I, uh, or the main owner, from what I understand, but the. But the fact that he's involved should definitely make the commander's fan base excited for what's to come. Magic know what, what he's doing because, I mean, uh, he was part of the initial group that uh, uh, that funded Starbucks, from what I understand, back in the days. I mean, I'm talking about in the, in the early days. But he also has Magic Johnson Enterprises. And if you look, I'm gonna can you guys see it? So it says Magic Johnson Enterprises owned Magic Johnson Theaters in four cities, 31 Burger Kings in the Southeast, 13 24 hour fitness health clubs. Over the years, Magic Johnson Enterprises has continually invested in ownership in many lucrative businesses, such as LA Lakers, movie theaters, restaurants. Uh, including TGI Fridays, Sodexo, and Burger King. In 2000 and, uh, March 2008, Johnson signed a multi-marketing, multi-year marketing deal to help electronics retail business retail Best Buy uh, bolster the sales in the urban neighborhoods. In October 2010, Johnson sold his interest in 105 Starbucks licenses licenses back to the company. 105. Uh, 2010. So that's basically at the height of Starbucks. Yeah. After yeah. making all those millions off of Starbucks itself. He's a smart guy. He's a smart guy. He also sold uh, the in the same year the... Uh, four four percent interest he had in LA Lakers for an estimated twenty seven million to Patrick Sun Xiong. He has done multiple deals. Let's see. We have here uh, invested in two thousand and in two thousand and one the Canyon Johnson Urban Fund, an alliance with Canyon Capital. The alliance has financed thirty one real estate development developments in thirteen states. At the District of Columbia, Columbia, the first Canyon uh, Johnson Urban Fund struggled for two years to raise three hundred million to invest in urban neighborhoods. The subsequent fund raised six hundred million, while the third and the biggest fund was started in two thousand and eight, which drew one billion from pension funds and investors. The Canyon Johnson Fund was involved in the one hundred million purchase of a thirty-two story former Transamerica Center Complex in downtown LA that subsequently was renovated and sold for 205. So that's doubling up the money. Also pretty good. He yeah. has an eye for business. What else has he done after that? The fund also had a stake in Sunset Vine in Hollywood which was built for 100, 126 million and sold for sorry it was built for 125 million and sold for 160 so i think you're right RJ. the guy knows how to do business and it, it, it you're not getting a owner that's going to sit back and try to finesse their own owners yeah. He's not going to sit there 
and say to the and say to the fans I'm not gonna be here <laughs> I'm not gonna be here. Do you remember this one? That one? Yeah. yeah when he do. was the GM. <laughs> they, what was it? I think they, they fired him. No, they didn't fire him. He stepped down because he stepped down. Yeah, that was that was the thing. Yeah. Yeah, because he was the he was the GM for a while for the Lakers, Los Angeles Lakers, but I forgot his name. The former agent of Kobe Bryant was also there and Rob. Polenka was also mm. there, uh, and according to Michael, he was being backstabbed by Rob uh, for his Mike, you mean Magic. So, yeah, Magic. Yeah. So mm. according to Magic, Magic was saying, but he said it a bit crypt uh, cryptically. So, but from what I understood, it seems like he was saying that Rob Polenka uh, was backstabbing him when he was GM. Of the late when he was the GM of the Lakers, partially because he was never there.